Hi everyone! Aren't these flowers beautiful? What is inside the capsule should be just as beautiful. We have here the Mini Verse Make It Mini Food Valentine's Day series. Several of you gave me some tips and tricks to find the roses. First thing to look out for is the cake. Several of you mentioned that the second wrapper should have the cake displayed. If it does, then you need to weigh it. I was very embarrassed to do this, but I'll tell you a little bit about that in just a moment. But I did weigh them. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, if my memory does not fail me, they should weigh around 86 grams or 85. Was my embarrassment worth it? <laughs> Let's take a look. It sure was. Yes. All right. Now I could breathe. <laughs> we have the vase. Let's take a look and see what it looks like. I like that the vase is clear. This way we can see the flower stems and appreciate the flowers more. Let's take a look and see what this little heart bag has inside. We have the pink or rose gold tongs. They also come with the little card stand. And here is the heart. This is the little knob for the lid for the capsule. We have a little card. That way you're able to put a little personal message. This is really cute. I really like this one. What else do we have? We have the roses, which is one of the most important items, right? I wish the petals were a little bit more defined, but this will work. Last but not least, we have our Keep Cool Back, which has our resin. I'm super ready to build these red roses. Let's go ahead and get started. What are they recommending we do? So they want us to add resin just up to right here. Then we need to trim the roses a little bit, add the little card stand, and then cure it. Easy enough. I think we can do that. I hope. <laughs> Let me share with you guys our little hunting adventure for these. So we ended up going to only three Walmarts and the reason for that was because we didn't need that many. We really just were happy with what we found and the suspense, I could not do that again. So I have not had any luck recently with anything that I have ordered through Miniwares, whether it's the Valentine's or the Spring Series. I did not get any rares. So... I knew that if I wanted to find these, I was going to either have to spend a lot of money, which I can't right now, or I would have to go hunting for them. So I decided to go on an adventure, have my husband tag along, and we went to those three Walmarts. In the three Walmarts, we only found some in two, which was a good thing. They ended up having the display cases on the end cap. But I really need to get myself a little miniature personal scale to carry around because that day was full of suspense for me at least. I know it was probably all in my head, but I was just waiting for a manager, a store employee, somebody to tap on my shoulder and tell me, you can't do that. <laughs> I really felt I was doing a crime by weighing these capsules, especially because I weighed them at the produce section, I felt like someone was just going to kick me out of the store or tell me, you know what, that's not sanitary, you can't be weighing them, especially not at the produce section. And I was just trying to find that other voice in me that was saying, this is wrong, leave. <laughs> just take them all and leave. But thankfully, we found several, but most of them were not the roses. I think we ended up finding only three. Which was what we needed, really. We wanted to, one, unbox one, and two, do a little challenge. So right now, all I'm doing is I'm prepping for the challenge that we're going to be having. I want to make, a, like, a nice flower arrangement that somebody would get maybe on Valentine's. So I'm going to go ahead and make two little bears out of the resin that comes with Miniverse items and some of this rose gold Forgive me, gold leaf. It's fake, okay? It's not actual gold, but it gives that illusion or idea. I'm not too sure why I'm adding clear resin, but I think it's going to help show the little gold foil a little bit better. 
Then once this is cured, I'm going to add maybe the vanilla or the berry resin on top. Let me just get this cured before I do that. I think I will start with the vanilla. Yeah, I think I'm going to do the vanilla first and then we'll do one with the berry. I don't know if I should maybe do a red little bear too. This one has some of the little sprinkles left over from one of the recipes. I think I'm going to add this here. <laughs> I think it's going to give it a little bit of another look or a bit more character we could say. And it'll help me clean up the resin as well to make sure that it doesn't have any more of the little red sprinkles. Here is the two little bears. They have been cured and this is what they look like. Let me see if I could give you a closer look. This is our white with red and a little itty bitty pieces of gold. Next, we have our pink little bear with the gold foil. I think both are really cute. I don't know if I'll use both, if I'll just use one. We'll see right now. For the vase, I'm going to grab one of the bowls that came in the Lifestyle Home series with the orchid. I really liked this bowl. I think it's going to look beautiful. And I'm going to use some of the baby's breath flowers. I'm thinking I'm adding a little bit of resin to the bottom to cure them. So far it's working, but it's very weak. So this might not work, but we'll give it a try. It was a fail. <laughs> it definitely did not work. So let's go to plan B. I'm just going to grab as many flowers as I can and make a little itty, itty bitty bouquet in my hand. Then I'm going to take one of these little ties that actually comes with some of the Lifestyle Home series plants. Let me just tie it as tight as I possibly can. And I trimmed all of the flowers to be the same length. After that, I'm going to add a lot more resin to the bowl to make sure that they go ahead and adhere this time. It will look something like this. It still looks a little bit empty for me, especially around the back. I'm going to try and cure it first just to make sure things don't move around. Then I'm going to fill in all those little gaps. The back really was very empty. I don't think I arranged them properly. So I needed to add some more. I decided to go with more of the peonies and the baby's breath. I want to leave some suspense in this, so I'm going to go ahead and let my husband do his version or his item for the challenge, and then I'll show both of ours at the end. So right now I'm seeing that he's grabbing a- <gasps> No! <laughs> he tore, he broke my basket. <laughs> he's going to grab some foam, and he's going to make a print of the basket oh smart so he's going to add some foam so that he's able to put the roses and flowers i wish i would have thought of that so he's just arranging them he's trimming them to the length that he thinks will look best or that he wants he's adding some more of the these are the peonies right He's taking some baby's breath. I love the baby's breath in flower arrangements. I think it really helps fill in those empty gaps. He's adding some more of that. It's looking really good. I really like it. It was smart of him to also remove the handle. This way he's able to add more flowers. He added an orchid. That's fancy. He's adding some more peonies. He's going for the poppies. Hmm. I did not want to use these in mine because the texture of these is a little bit different. They're a little bit um, fuzzy, <laughs> but they do look very pretty. I wonder if he's going to add any more. 
I think he's going for some more, which I think is a good idea because it was looking a little bit empty. He's adding some more of the flowers. Is he gonna use the roses? We did go hunting for them. <laughs> I hope he adds some roses. I'm very impatient sometimes, right? But let me see what he does. So he's adding more of those peonies. Everything's looking good. He added three of the big ones. That's cool. I think he may be done. I think he did a very good... Oh no. Oh no. It fell apart. Bummer. Oh, I feel so bad. I think he grabbed the wrong foam. This one seems to be falling apart. I think he grabbed the one that you sink in water. Yeah, I don't think this one would work because it dissolves very, very easily. He went ahead and he worked another <laughs> arrangement up and I think he did a fabulous job. I'm happy to see that he used the roses. <laughs> I think it looks beautiful, a nice flower basket. Imagine this on a picnic. Wouldn't that be beautiful? I think it would. I think he did a great job. I like how he placed the flowers. He added some, the orchid. Let me go ahead and show you what everything ended up looking like. So this is the miniverse version. Then we have my flower shop version. <laughs> I added a little ribbon. And this is my husband's basket flower arrangement. I think, can I see? I like mine this time. Would that be bad? <laughs> Let me just give you another look at a different angle. So Miniverse, CC's, and then Hubby's. Which one is your favorite? Let me know in the comments. Bye!